Gemini, hello, Amanda here. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. This is going to be your November shift reading. So we're looking at the shape you're shifting out of this month, the shape you're shifting into, and what that shape shift looks and feels like. Gemini, the image that's coming to me for you this month is pretty interesting. There's been some energy in some of the, the readings I've done for the signs in November of um, conducting electricity and electricity being like this lightning bolt. You know, the planet Uranus is this energy of electricity, of being electrified, of something, you know, like lightning striking and shaking something up. And Gemini, for you, that's actually showing up that you are the electrical current or you are traveling on the electrical current because I, I saw electricity entering or moving through a wire like a telephone wire and like I was the electricity or at least I was riding on the current as it was like coursing through this tube this wire from one place to a next and so that really offers me images of like messages being conveyed from one place to another um you know, like wires being connections, connecting the dots or like riding this electrical current. It's taking you somewhere. It's bringing some sort of, you know, Uranus is a planet of shakeups. It is a planet of like revelations out of nowhere. It is, it is this electrical beat that helps us progress forward. It helps us make connections. It helps us have epiphanies. It is this catalyst for change. And that's what riding this electrical current wave feels like. And it's showing up in your cards. So I've already pre-pulled your shape shift this month from the El Goliath Tarot. You know, Scorpio season is bringing a lot of intensity and I just need some time to sit with the cards. And I've done that for you, Gemini. Here's your shape shift. Not surprising, the tower is showing up. The tower is an energy that is being used to express this um, electricity, this lightning striking, and that's what we're seeing. It's like lightning has struck the tree, as you can see up here, and now it's blazing. I think it even says the burning tree. You know, the tower represents a time of great change, you know, something happening to shake up your structure, shake up, you know, we're seeing that these birds all live in this tree. They live on this existing structure. It sustains them. It, it gives them food and a place to rest and um, a sense of place. And, and if it burns to the ground, they have to shift their structure. They have to adapt escaping the structure that is burning and finding a new one. And that's your shape shift here. Beautifully, it's, it's as if, so we're shifting from the tower to the six of cups and the six of cups here says the reuniting water hole. And, and it's just playing this beautiful story out of a storm ravaging a wilderness or a jungle landscape and forcing all of the animals to flee. And then when the storm is over, they slowly, you know, dawn, the, the sun rises on a new day. Everything is fresh from the rains. There's a lot of destruction, but we find one another again at the watering hole. We begin to, to reconvene and rebuild. Reconvene, reconnect, reunite after the intensity of the storm, the intensity of the shakeup in order to say, okay, now we, we gather again, we gather together again and figure out how we're going to rebuild and what we're going to do now. That's really the, the energy, the shape shift here. Um, and I love here that the birds are all being displaced in this card due to some sort of catalyst for change. And then in this card, they, they have the heads of the hippos to land on in order to sort of find each other again. And, find a way to rebuild. It's beautiful. What does your shapeshift look and feel like?
the two of swords it says the blind seal the page of swords this one's been coming through for a lot of signs it says the sword bearing sister and then the rewarded frog seven of pentacles also coming through for a lot of signs so i'm, I'm not at all surprised to see this page here in fact i expected it given the this energy of electricity that i'm feeling for you gemini so these two are showing me a story of it says the blind seal. So, you know, sometimes the two of swords can be a card of protection, you know, like protecting your energy in order to really go within and tune into your own intuition. And, but the fact that it says the blind seal is really leading me more towards a read of this card that is like, I don't want to see. I don't want to see what's happening because it's going to ask me to react. You know, it, it is going to force a change perhaps that I'm a bit afraid of. And so it's like sticking the candles in the eyes. <laughs> I don't want to see, I block it out. There's a certain level of blocking it out. And again, blocking it out can help you really ground into your own energy, but it's like a fine line of like, when are, how are, when are you grounding into your own energy and when are you blocking out something that you need to see clearly in order to make a shift? And so the Page of Swords comes in and says, you have to see this, you know, like you can't hide from this. You can't block this out. This is a lightning bolt. I mean, we see this sword coming in absolutely electrified, conducting electricity, coming in and saying, you're going to ride this wave. You're going to ride this current, whether you want to see it or not, because it, it's bringing either information or a new understanding your way that is going to seriously change things and shift the structure in a really big way. This is air energy, Gemini. This is your sign. This is communication coming in, you know, that like electrical current coursing through, really taking you on a ride. But again, it's, it's, Yes, it's a huge catalyst for change that might be difficult to, to look at squarely and react to. But I think, you know, when the tower comes, it's something that we have to react to, whether we want to or not. You know, it's like these, these birds might not have wanted to see the storm coming, but oh boy, is it ever hitting home. It's there. It's, it has arrived. It's time. You know, you, you gotta flee. You gotta flee whether you want to want to or not when this kind of energy comes in. But, and, and I do love that we've got this parallel imagery of the birds. The birds, yeah, it's time to take flight, you must. That's the energy of it is you must. But it's good, it's like it's going to electrify your world and, and bring in the catalyst for change that you need because I mean, this is where the shift is leading you to the rewarded frog and the six of cups, the reuniting water hole. It's going, I just uh, heard it's gonna take you home. That might be very literal for some of you. It's gonna take you back. It's gonna take you home. The reuniting speaks to a return. And the rewarded, I mean, that's lovely. It's like, this is something you've been waiting for. It's gonna land you in a place that maybe is a pretty opportunistic place for a frog to hang out to catch some flies, you know? It's like, if, if this whole thing lands you on a Venus flytrap and you're a frog who eats flies, it's a, that's not a bad place to end up through all of this. There are rewards and reunions on the other side of this change but the change is here and that can be hard to move through and see and embrace. Okay, Gemini, we're gonna take this into an extended reading now, pull some other cards from other decks and see if we can get a little bit more information on this electric current that seems to be moving through your life or that you seem to be riding the wave of. Um, so if you'd like to join me for that, stick around. I've got an announcement for y'all. Unseen Hands Healing is expanding and I can't wait to share what those additional offerings are. So I'll explain that a little bit here briefly and point you to where you can view your extended reading for Scorpio season. Gemini, take care. I am so excited to announce that Unseen Hands is expanding. 
My dear friends and fellow healing artists, Kevin and Kelsey, are joining me to form Unseen Hands, a healing arts collective. We want to deepen your monthly shift experience by adding in astrology and a creative guidebook to help you work through your monthly shift process and inspire you with different perspectives and different kinds of artistic viewpoints on these monthly shifts. So to view your extended shift reading, you can head over to unseenhandscollective.com where we are offering you an opportunity to explore our new offerings. So head on over there and we will dive deeper into your shift together.